another one and only exclusive, a University of Miami basketball player buying a car and then saying he got taken for a ride. And now that car dealer has disappeared. Local 10 News reporter Todd Tonkin live in Miramar with this exclusive. Todd. Janine at 6 foot 11 inches tall and 235 pounds. Rodney Miller is not used to getting messed with, but he was surprised to learn that the owner of this car dealership behind me allegedly sold him a lemon. And now he says he's out over $4,000 and he believes there are other victims out there. University of Miami basketball player Rodney Miller tries not to travel on the hard court. But when it came to getting around town, he visited this Miramar car dealership. Now he's calling a foul, saying what they did is out of bounds. My mom found this place online and uh, told me to check it out. And I checked it out. I liked the car. and ended up having some problems. Rodney purchased a 2004 GMC Envoy from Rudy Jimenez, owner of One Auto Miami Export in Miramar. Yeah. He says the car began to backfire, but Jimenez assured him it was a simple fix. Came to the point I pulled over like 20 times on the highway, so um, really dangerous situation. Rodney and his mother turned to Manny, the mechanic, who works right next door to the dealer. The transmission was not good. I told her, uh, him the transmission was no good and I think he's bringing back to him. So after only a week, the University of Miami Center took the car back. When the car was initially was messing up, he told me he was going to give me another car. But Rodney says there was never any proof that this second car existed. They asked for a refund and were given a check that was returned for not sufficient funds on two separate occasions. When Local 10 staffer Melanie Alvarez stopped by, no one opened the door at One Auto Miami, but Jimenez told us over the phone a refund was mailed out already. Okay, and we told them that we were going to go ahead and replace it with the one uh, with the second payment that we were going to issue them. He made a similar statement to Miramar Police on May 17th. Once I realized that he didn't buy the second car, uh, me and my mom really stopped believing what he was saying. Now the sign outside the business says they're open. But they're not. In fact, the neighbor next door tells us that they cleared out last week. And Miramar police say this is a civil matter, so it's unclear if or when Rodney will get his money back. He's out over $4,000, and now he just wants to focus on schoolwork and playing basketball. In Miramar, Todd Tonkin, Local 10 News.